As you get to the higher level missions in the game, you're going to find yourself fighting more and more enemies with heavy armour. This can become a real problem as many standard weapons won't deal sufficient damage to them. This is when you need to turn to the many options of anti-tank weaponry in the game. And what better way to deal with a tank than to blow it up with a rocket. Hey, I'm Sean Arnold and you're watching Double Freedom and this is Stratagem of the Day. Today's video is going to look at the RL112 Recoilless Rifle Mark III, a powerful multi-purpose weapon which is useful for taking out larger targets. The RL112 can only hold one rocket at a time, so it comes with a backpack containing additional ammunition. When upgraded to level 3, it gains a laser sight which is useful for aiming at those critical points, and ignores armour punching a hole right through anything that's standing in your way. Sounds amazing, right? It is until you start trying to reload it. Jumping, jumping. Reloading. You see, the RO112 has one of the longest reload times in the game. This leaves you and potentially your team quite vulnerable. Surely there must be a way to get around this. Emblow's TIX and Victor Jean 2001 explain that the best way to use this weapon is to take advantage of its assisted reload function. Stand by, equipment on its way. Affirmative. The recoilless rifle is great as long as people know about the assisted reload, but I feel like nobody even bothers reading the encyclopedia when they start playing. If two people take the recoilless, they should stand close to each other and press X for a much quicker reload. Whoa, thanks guys! Honestly, I had no idea how to make this weapon useful. Who would have thought that this game gets better when people actually work together? Victor Jour 2001 also advises that the RL112 is great for destroying objectives and can be replenished using ammo crates. Just be careful as M Blows TIX says, when fighting the Illuminates as their shields may protect them. If you do find yourself having to use this weapon solo, do make sure that you go to a safe spot and that you are out of harm's way and that you're doing it at a time when you're not going to hold up your team. So guys, that's been today's video. Thank you for watching as always. Hope you've enjoyed it and hope it's been useful to some of you. Please share, like, etc, etc as YouTubers say. And um, please look forward to tomorrow's video. Much love, take care and goodbye.